Oh, welcome back my uh, gardening friends. Well, it's that time of the year where I save my tomato seeds. Now, I do it a little bit differently uh, to most. Uh, there's my giant uh, tomato and the uh, shop-bought uh, cherry tomatoes. And there's some of the tomatoes that Phil sent me, the uh, bloody butchers. And the tiny Tim trailing tomatoes that have done uh, really well this time now I've got money makers here but I bought new seed and I thought well I'm really impressed with the shop bought cherries so I'm going to save those especially those there they're nice small sweet and it'd be nice to keep some of the uh, bloody butchers as well as well as those so shop bought compost clean free of weeds and tomato seeds of course and I'll just show you now exactly what I do yeah please uh, feel free in uh, joining in on this you don't really necessarily have to uh, cut them up you just throw them in the compost but I find it just uh, a wee bit better to do it this way you see these tomatoes are, are well ripe now so all I do then is just layer them all around top of the compost I'll finish these off it doesn't really matter how many you save uh, and say just uh, follow along pick your favorite uh, shop bought tomato whatever these will be left in the polytunnel hopefully mice free unfortunately the mice have found uh, my saved seed store my fault and they've uh, eaten or taken away all those favorite peas that I saved this time and they were the ones that Bill and Val sent me so I'm very disappointed so this one uh, is done you don't have to water it but I'm now I'm just slightly intrigued as to what this uh, large tomato looks like It's overripe now. You certainly don't get no waste in these. And there's uh, plenty of seeds in there. So I'm just going to pop two of those in. Maybe I'll... Uh, spray it out of it and uh, I'll do exactly the same with that Yeah, so I find that uh, <clears throat> the best way to do it uh, in the spring, uh, start of summer, just uh, you just grab a handful uh, out of the bottom, you know, roughly where they are, put them onto uh, a tray, tissue, uh, under some heat, and uh, they germinate uh, quite nicely. So the other one I wanted to do was the uh, cucumber, the telepathy. I don't know what seeds we'll have in here. Looks like we'll uh, have a few. Uh, it's just a little bit early yet, but I did this last year and the mice found them. So I learn my lesson from that. 
Now, in nature, they'd just drop on the floor. And they'd grow whenever the temperature was right. So, we'll have another little go at this one. It's my favourite cucumber at the moment. And if it saves me buying some, then so be it. Again, these will have to be taken out. Put under some heat and light. Compost the rest. But that's uh, how I've been saving some of the seeds. It just saves drying them out, storing them. Some people like that, but that's what I like to do. So if you want to follow along and uh, with your favourite tomato, then please do. But I think that's the best way to save tomato seeds. Now some of the progress that uh, I've made this week, I've managed now to get uh, almost to the top and he ain't too bad a line. Not too worried because they'll probably get kicked and knocked about but even though uh, we uh, got other projects we need to do it's always best to get the borders uh, completed first. Now these plastic uh, walking boards that I use, uh, because these beds <coughs> were so wide, I'm going to uh, reuse those along uh, this fence. It's only got uh, a couple of wooden uh, bits of pallet uh, between us, and as you can see at the bottom of the wood, uh, the weeds do get through. I know I've taken the wood chips off, but to stop the bowing weeds and anything else that might come from anywhere else, I'm going to use those, bury them in the ground uh, a short way and fasten, to, fasten them to the wood. Now once the um, new raised beds are done, I won't, be able to, I won't have to worry about uh, walking on the beds. They'll be uh, basically uh, a no dig or very close to a no dig. As we move into the um, fruit cage, I've uh, trimmed back the uh, black current bushes it's about the right time of the year now to get that done and I've been cutting out the, uh, the dead wood and uh, if you need uh, to take any cuttings then again it's about the right time to take those they only need to be about six inches long but I always uh, cut an angle on the top I know you can see the buds but always cut an angle on your cuttings and then you know which way up they go. It does help. I've got plenty, uh, so I shan't be taking any this year. I'll uh, give them a better prune once uh, the leaves have dropped out and I'll decide then whether I'm going for the goblet shape or a, a cordon. And I've also managed to get the uh, summer fruit in raspberries uh, under some sort of control uh, when I first bought it it had got uh, one stick as you can see now it's uh, got multiple and may split that one year but if I do it just means I'm going to be without fruit I've managed to cut all the tops out because they were rubbing on the netting so the growing tips have gone where the growing tips have gone they're throwing out uh, new shoots I've had to put a couple of extra canes in to help uh, train them but as you can see hopefully if I haven't cut too much off we'll get some nice fruit next year I'll try and pop up the plot for an hour after work just do a few little jobs I've got to get those bolotti beans off at some stage uh, I've got to clear the um, those beans 
try to get some more of these uh, pomgo uh, French beans off. I haven't seen any, uh, oh yes, there we go. One of the flowers is set now on the uh, third sowing of the cobras and I'll be uh, saving seeds from these three because this one was just a mixture and a bit of a mishmash. But uh, they're drying out nicely now and as long as I can get 20 beans off each one, I'll be a happy chappy. They're pumping out nicely. That one will need taking off uh, when I get up here next. We've gained uh, a little friend. Thank you for dumping that that side. You could have pooed this side, at least it would have fertilised. But he's very friendly. It's some sort of uh, racing pigeon or whatever. It's got the rings on but it doesn't seem to want to uh, go anywhere. It won't be long before I get uh, my garlic in. Another job. But it's been very, very wet here in the Midlands, in the UK. Be nice to get this all sorted. I'll take the slab and put the slab just inside there, then I can take all this plastic out and give me more room to store some of the junk. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, and happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Ta ra for now.